let us talk about the integration between PP and FI and CO module. So what are the integration points? So which is another uh, interview question. So before we start, just to tell you that uh, FI CO are two different modules. Now they both belong to the finance side of SAP, so they are they are finance modules. However, FI is one module and CO is a different module. So sometimes we can say that okay, FI CO FICO. However, in reality, they are different modules. One is called FI, one is called CO. So CO is more about the costing side of it. FI is more about the finance side of it. So first we'll see the integration between the CO module, then we'll talk about the integration between FI module. So let us see some examples between PP and CO module. First example, the price update in the material master via the material cost estimate CK11N. So there's a CK11N transaction that we'll discuss earlier in one of the previous video that it is used by the finance the costing department or the finance guys and they use this transaction transaction to update the material master price so you can see the price in the material master so if you open any material master for example if i open a material here mm02 this material so they use ck11n to update the pricing that you can see here See, it's zero, 00 is not costed, but uh, in reality, in the real-time world, it, they will cost it like on a monthly basis or on some specific time period. So the, this up price will be updated from there. So you can see this is grayed out. I can't update it here because that is only done by the finance guy using CK11N. Second example, assigning price to activity type for the <coughs> specific period in the fiscal year. So price is assigned to the activity type and activity type in the cost center assigned to the work center so that means activity type or cost center will be assigned to a work center so that means that's the integration point between the work center which is the pp side and activity type and cost center is the costing side next example is production order type is assigned to the settlement profile so we have seen earlier that uh, in in every every production order if I open a production order a settlement profile is assigned to the production order type in customizing so you can see that here as well settlement rule so you can see there's a profile assigned here so this is coming from the customizing which have which you have seen before so that's another integration between costing and production order or the pp side Product cost calculator, that's another calculator that we have discussed in one of the previous videos that is used to calculate the cost of the products, which is another uh, interface between material master and CO module. And the uh, last one is standard cost estimate. So again, they're doing another thing called standard cost estimate, which is again the updating of the pricing uh, of, the, of the production orders pricing. So this is also an, another integration between CO and PP. Uh, there's another one, costing sheet for overloads, which we have seen before. So that's another uh, costing type that is done to check the overheads um, in the PP module. Next, we'll talk about the integration between PP and FI. So there's one integration point between PP and FI, which is account posting entries for each goods movement related to PP with valuation class material type and and movement type that means what that means is whenever we do a goods receipt for example we have seen earlier that we create a production order and later on we'll do the goods receipt for the production order so whenever you're doing a goods receipt accounting posting will be created that means accounting documents will be generated so every time whether you're doing the goods receipt in MM module whether you're doing it in PP module but whenever you do it accounting entries or accounting documents will be generated in FI side. So that is the integration point between FI and CO. So, so that's all about the integration between FI and FICO and PP module. So thank you again to watch this.